Hello YouTube, so today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to create your own character for um, Unity. So first what you want to do is download Adobe Fuse and once you've done that, all you have to do is open it up. This is a very simple way if you don't know how to create your own character or if you don't know how to 3D model or design, uh, this is like the simplest way to do it. So download Adobe Fuse and create an account and yeah, it's pretty simple to download it. So once you've done that, open it up and here you have choices. You can choose right now. These are all the choices you have for faces or the person you want to create. You can also fix it right now. I'm going to create a male. So I clicked that and then I'm going to give him that body type. Okay, and then <laughs> you just select the legs you want. Um, hands, I'm just making him simple right now. Um, then what I want to do, that's it right there. I'm going to go to clothing. Uh, we're going to give him an open jacket. Okay, that looks nice. And we're going to go to bottoms and just give him a pair of dress pants. Or some boot cut pants. Okay, that looks good. Now let's go to shoes. Um, just give him let's see, some boots. Alright, there. So there's our character as you can see. Alright, now we're literally we're done. That's all we had to do. So now what you want to do, go to file, export. And export model as OBJ and then it has here do not mess with these settings just press OK um, I'm gonna export it to the desktop and I'm gonna save it as unity care or char unity char so it's gonna be just unity character all right let's let that export and let's create another character so let's just go to file new model um, I don't want to save this, but if you want, you can save it. Um, let me go to mail fit. A. am gonna create a zombie in this one. All right. The zombie body zombie legs and zombie arms. So that's it. <laughs> that's all. Now let's go to clothing. You can give the zombie clothing if you want. Um, I would give him like let's see pants tactical response pants mm. would that fit a zombie no uh no okay let's just select workout shorts I don't know what kind of zombie this is, but I never seen a zombie in workout shorts, but this is a pretty fit zombie, I guess. Uh, what if you want to make the zombie say, I want my zombie to be buff or fit, uh, you go to assembly, no customize. And here, this is where you can fix up the zombie like biceps. If I want to make his biceps big, oh, he's looking buff triceps big. Okay. He got big arms. <laughs> All right. Forearm. Small forearms, nope. Uh, big forearms. Shoulders, massive shoulders. Let's see. This one's either narrow or wide. Let's give him wide shoulders. Okay, his traps are popping. All right, let's see. Wow, this zombie's pretty buff. I never seen a zombie like this. All right, uh, I wouldn't want to mess with this zombie. Let's go to face. Uh, angry. Ooh, no, 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 no! Wow, <laughs> this is cool. I never actually tried this before. So as you see, all right, there's our zombie, mean-looking zombie. Actually, let's fix up his chest. His chest is flat. All right, let's see if we. Okay, here, chest. Ooh, no, 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 no. All right, that's let's see. 
Uh, um, I'm just moving <laughs> sliders. I really don't. No, I'm trying to make his chest bigger. Uh, that looks abnormal. What the hell? I think I messed him up. Maybe I should stop. Okay. Um, there, as you see, wow, <laughs> I gave him. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> There's our zombie. Um, I don't, I don't know what to say, but okay, I'm gonna go to file, export, export model as OBJ, and press OK again, and I'm gonna just save it as weird zombie. Okay. So okay, let it export and whatever. Okay, it's done. So now what we want to do, you can exit out Adobe Fuse on save your models. I don't save this because I don't really need that model. Uh, let's open up Unity and let's just create a new character character um, showdown. Let's just say that character showdown and it's 3D. So um now where I saved I saved my characters in the where did I save them on my desktop so you should see it like here I have weird zombie and the other one I named unity chart so we're gonna drag these folders into unity I'm gonna drag the second one weird zombie after this is done so all you want to do is drag those folders okay it's loading loading okay um all right it's done now let's let me put unity back at full screen um now just click the folders actually you don't even have to do that just go to all prefabs or all models uh you should see the zombie model let's see let me go to 2d 3d as you see this model is like everything is just gray i don't know why Let's try the unity character. He's actually, he's actually, he has color. The zombie doesn't have color, I guess, because we didn't give him color back then. But as you see, this is the unity model. We made the first one. Um, he's looking pretty good, actually. Uh, if you see some shader issues like this, all you have to do is select that. And instead of standard shader, go to legacy shader bump diffuse. It should fix it up. Um, uh, in the next tutorial, I should probably do on how to animate these characters. So please make sure to hit the subscribe button and thank you for watching.